good morning. Okay. Let's let's uh, straighten. Oh, don't let them see the whites of your eyes. They're dirty. They're so prone to glare. They're so prone to glare. The sound is leaking. I like this NPC. Yeah, it was so my friend Zach, uh, Facebook message, I just, oh, man. Ooh, what's this? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, don't forget about your minimum payment of $10. No, 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 I'm paying it off. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Um, okay. It's not just a game, lol. It's a story generator. And it's wildly different every time. All right. He was like, I didn't realize, um, uh, RimWorld was kind of like an AI thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I forgot to like be like, no, it's a, it's a story generator. Okay. We'll just set that right there. Hey, works pretty good. I kind of like that, actually. We're not going to see what that is. But yeah, eh, it'll do. It's good. Two thousand, yeah. There we go. Tilt it down, baby. Oh, turn that fucking light on. Old friend of our being. It is the one. All right, so um, I have learned that strive to survive is considered normal, and I'm one up higher than that. It's called blood and dust. You play well, people are gonna die anyways, because that's just the way it is. So yeah, that's what we're doing, and uh, we've been here for a year. It's the first of April, May. It's the first of spring, which means it is time to grow some fucking. It didn't snow either. That's chickpea plant. Interesting. Um, hors d'oeuvres, uh, hard fist, that stuff, and that, and cut that. Excellent. We're going to make, we're going to get rid of those two. Or we're not going to do that though. We're going to chop the wood. There. All right. So what we need to do Let's go into the zone.
And we're going to go lots of different things. Okay, so that one can be potatoes. We've already got a lot of potatoes. Let's, uh, oats. And this one can be uh, celery. This one can be carrots. This one can be cabbage. This one can be uh, canola. And coffee and pumpkins. Whoops, this one can be pepper plants, I guess. We go tobacco. Um, strawberries. Sugar cane. Mint. And this one. Can be. No, no, it's going to be. What is it called? The fucking healing one, heal root. There we go. Okay. Medical treatment needed. Bailey. Okay. What's wrong with Bailey? Health. No immediate danger. Blood loss. Okay, she's fine. Oh, there's. A, we're gonna go deal with that fire. Grub. What are you doing, grub? Are they done? What do you need? Yeah, once he gets over his sister's death, that'll help a lot because it's minus 16. Orla Greg, how's it going? You see my see my farming thing over there? I gotta put one put another thing in the middle here. This one. Grapes. Epic. Epic! We're gonna make some really good meals with this stuff. Oh, 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 and know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna take this whole. Oh, I. Oh. We'll do it over here then. We're gonna grow, where is it? You can probably guess hops. I was like, you probably guess what it is. We're growing hops. That's right, all right, that's enough growing. All right, let's, uh, let's let this buck for a few minutes.
Bailey, how are you doing? How you doing, baby? Oh, she's great. That's fabulous. She's got shot in the torso and she's just fucking happy as fuck. Disturbed sleep, ate without a table, minor pain. Why'd you eat without a table? What the fuck's fault was that? Did I take the table away? Hmm. There's a table right there. Why didn't you eat without a table? Why didn't you eat with the ta at the table? Buffy bot likes beer. I will be lurking. Cheers. Thanks, man. Where does Paul go? Oh, there he is. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Grub's got the LMG. That's fucking so sick. Okay. Let's put some sick stuff in his bedroom. Just for the whole fucking day. Um, he's the, he's the talker, right? He is. Unless Red's better at it than he is. I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. Let's go. Nah. Goats. Come on. No, I don't buy goats. Oh, I don't need any. Oh, I could sell the cloth. What do you give me for all of it? 900 and... I wish I could hold that down. Oh, whoa. Did I fucking, I didn't, no. <laughs> I could sell like fucking half of her like. Four hundred? What? Oh no, that's fucking the wrong one. Or is it? This one no, that's right. Negative numbers. Yeah, this is it.
No, she goes on an alcohol binge. Epic. How does that fucking work though? Like, like, don't I get the fucking? Should I get like four hundred gold though? Or silver? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, okay, it's because it just, I do, I do. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Okay, that's 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 good. So I didn't. I don't want to put more fucking shit down for. Okay. It's probably not gonna happen. I'm just assuming he's not gonna help out any of this shit. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Major passion for it. And then three. Zach is eight. Five, two. Let's try to put some. Nice cloth armchair. Ah. <laughs> we'll see what that does. We'll add uh end table right beside the chair oh yeah on the other side of the thing that's a nice place for you to read isn't that fucking cool and the plant pot and uh let's make some let's make some art make a large sculpture out of Make it out of bronze, what? Make it out of... Stone black, marble. Ooh. Yeah, just make it out of marble. You making a you making a thing out of marble? Who's gonna do that? Zach. We'll make Zach do it. Okay. Art. Zach. Art. We're not gonna let her do it. We're not gonna let her do it. Zach. 
exact when they do it. Okay. <clears throat> Eleven, awesome. He's going. He's getting better. Look at how much food I have. Hopefully, my freezer doesn't go down. That'd be a tragedy. All right. Let's see if I can. He's he can cook eleven now. So let's uh. Or May meal. <laughs> nah, it's not good. You know, I'll just see if they do it. That'd be sweet. That would be sweet. Got some dead bodies to throw on the fire there. That's awesome. I was like, dip, 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 dip. I checked that guy's body out. He's full of bullet holes. That was awesome. Gunshot, pump shotgun, fucking A. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Watch me burn the bodies. Yeah. He's like, nah, it's old hat.
Zach's building the chair. Good stuff. It's going to be nice. Others playing Gary's mod. I'm curious what Gary's mod is. That sounds interesting. Oh, Donkey, what's your name? You don't have a name. You guys not name your donkey. This is ridiculous. Daniel, how's it going? I'm having a pretty good day. I'm just letting my I'm letting my simulator run here for a bit. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one.
Yeah, it's fucking permanent. Unless fucking Captain Infinity wants to take him to court. What did Jay say? Did he just lay it on the line? Did he tell the truth? <laughs> No, that's bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. Now he, he can start a new channel. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's fucking shitty. I was disappointed to see that he was on Canadian Spider-Man's channel because I thought Canadian Spider-Man and Captain Infinity were friends. <laughs> that sucks. I was like, I'm not watching this stream. I will just get mad. But yeah, once again, somebody does something that's absolutely fucking beyond the pale and nobody gives a shit. This community blows and I'm fucking, that community blows and I'm done with them. They're a fucking bunch of spineless fucking cowards who don't stand for anything. That whole fucking like, not, I can't, not all of them, like, yeah, like, I'm sick of it. We're building it. We're building a new community that is 
adjacent to that community, but we are not. We don't. We don't hang out with them. They're extremists, as far as we're concerned. They're just as bad as the hardcore left. We're building a we're building a plot. We're building a community in the middle, and our motto is restoring respect back to discourse. And uh, yeah, we have a we have a fucking yeah. We've got a we've got a fucking Wiccan high priest. We've got a fucking Christian mystic. <laughs> A Bible-believing Christian mystic who follows the teachings of his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah, we've got a Satanist. And we all fucking get together, and we're good friends, and we have a fucking, you know, right? When, and we're fine. And we all meet in the middle, and we talk, and we disagree about stuff, and it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's the way, it's the way, it, it's the way it needs to be. And when somebody, and something, when something shitty and fucking disgraceful happens, we will stand up and do what's fucking right. Or at least try to make a stand for, you know, call people out. You know, we're not gonna just call people out. I shouldn't say like, we're gonna call people out. It's just like, no, if like somebody needs to be called out, we're gonna call them out. <laughs> you know? somebody's been wronged we can i can stand in solidarity with them and be like you know what i seen what happened to you and that's bullshit and all those people are fucking cowards for them all to just be like just completely fine with it is ridiculous like if like if you if you carry on to tell me that like oh they were all like oh that was shitty jay and they had this big conversation about how he shouldn't have done that maybe like if you come out and tell me that that happened like okay sure like i'll, I'll come back to the table and listen but as far as i can tell the same thing when admiral teague said that fucking disgraceful shit about the north american indians and the fucking in relation to the picard season three like nobody cared Nobody fucking cared at all. And they wonder, and they wonder why the fucking, the people on the far left think they're racist when they won't stand up against shit like that. And they just bring them back onto their shows. Like, no wonder. No wonder the left thinks y'all are racist, because you fucking are. You're just so goddamn dumb that you don't even realize it. It's just so baked into their fucking culture, it's ridiculous. You have to stand up against that stuff. You just have to. If you won't, you're a fucking, at very best, a complete fucking coward. At best. I got so much, I got so much food, various kinds. It sucks. Awesome people like Captain Finity gets kicked off the net and horrible people linger on the net. Like there are a few people who turned on me and blocked me for lies. Yeah. And nobody fucking cares. And you fucking go to your friends and 
try to talk to them about it and they're like oh well blah 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 and then next week you see them on their show or vice versa it's like well fuck you right <laughs> they don't care they're not gonna they're not gonna stand up for you you know <laughs> it's bullshit Like Captain Infinity really reminds me of my mom a lot. He's like, no, this is wrong, and we should stand up for this, right? And he fucking just <laughs> keeps packing, right? Just keeps packing, and people don't like that. And uh, it doesn't matter if they're right. The fucking cowards will do what's comfortable, and they'll do a, be spineless because it's easier. They don't fucking stand up for themselves. They won't stand up for the little guy. They won't, you know, it's like, no. It's, I don't know, it's sad. And uh, yeah, they just keep, they keep, they, they keep, keep pecking, they keep pecking and they keep pecking until my mom and dad got their fucking membership revoked from the church. My family got kicked out of the church. Can you believe that? It was our entire life. But I'm glad it happened because it changed the course of my life. That's for damn sure. You know? So yeah, this is a similar thing, right? And he's just like, yeah, my fucking parents got kicked out of the church. Their membership got revoked. It's not crazy. Because of like corruption on the board. <laughs> and she kept calling out and they were like, no, 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 blah, blah, blah. Mis misappropriating church funds and all this fucking stuff. And my mom was like, this isn't right. She wouldn't let it go. And people were like usurping power and stuff. It was wild. And uh, yeah, it was like, this isn't right. And she wouldn't let it go. And they fucking kicked her out. They, they revoked her membership and kicked her out of the church. Her and my dad. Isn't that fucking wild? You ever heard anything like that before? What is this? That's a hedgehog? Can we tame it? Who's gonna tame the hedgehog? Grub, go fucking tame the hedgehog. Where are you, Grub? Where are you, Grub? He's off mining somewhere, maybe. Oh, they're fishing. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad they're fishing. Fish, hopefully that helps their mood. Hey, his mood's a lot better. Minus four, because uh, it's better. Was it minus four? It was minus eight before, wasn't it? Yeah, fucking Admiral Teague still just gaining subs, gaining subs. Nobody gives a shit. Daniel's Hot Topic says, like, remember a few weeks ago, Pop Culture Curator was on here, and I said that a couple years ago, I was betrayed by Raquel SSG, and then she turned Potato Revan against me. Then a few months later,
yeah turn potato revan against me then a few months later yeah that sucks and it's just yeah turn potato revan against you yeah i remember i was wondering how that will if that ever worked out catharsis what's this oh expires in nine oh Oh, because he had a temper tantrum, so he's going to fucking, he's going to lose this. Oh, this is what's happening. Okay, I understand what's happening now. He gets catharsis for a couple days. His mood comes up. And then he goes on a fucking spree again, whether it be fucking smashing stuff or doing drugs or drinking. A few months later on June 23, Moira Kitty turns on me and she blocked you. Oh no. And now they're all against me for something I didn't do. Yeah, that fucking sucks, man. I was like, no, not Moira Kitty. <laughs> oh, and it's just heartbreaking too because it's just bullshit and you're just blocked and there's nothing you can do about it and you can't fucking talk to them or explain yourself or anything. They just fucking cut you right off. Not worth talking to you at all. There's just not worth fucking even getting your side of the story, right? It's not fucking shitty. They don't even care to get your side of the story. Okay, grub. When does this fucking 18? <laughs> it is his sister, but 18 more days. That's more than a month. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. Fine. Catharsis. Eh? Hmm. At least I understand the mechanics of his wild mood swings now. There's a catharsis buff. 40. Which is awesome. It's nice that he gets that, but... That explains things. Um, okay. Zach, how you doing, bro? Awesome. 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 Oh, red. What do you need? Darkness. Eight without a table. What the fuck? Hey, they're making making some uh, a chef's uniform, cloth button-down shirt. What's going on here? We don't need those. Um, tattered apparel. Who's wearing tattered apparel? Zach. What does he need? Gear. Spider Silk Toque, 42. You want a new hat, buddy? Will that make that go away? Because everything else looks pretty decent. We'll see if we'll see if we can make him a new hat. Um this is the tailor tailoring thing. Advil, can we make a hat? Make a toque, make a hood, a veil. Make a cowboy hat. Make a bowler hat. Let's make a cowboy hat. Let's make a bowler hat. And we'll make a... A y'all cape? Why the fuck not? Let's do it. Let's make some shit. Make a tribal headdress, why not? A noble fur coat. When we can, we will. Okay, that's enough of that. 
my parents want to talk to them, but I know that they will probably attack them. So I advise them just to stay away. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's like, yeah, they're like, well, I could use my account to go. It's like, oh, I appreciate it, but no, it's probably for the best. Ooh, that's a pretty plush, that's a pretty plush chair I built Zach there, eh? Or I built, or grub, Zach built it. Yeah, down here. A frontier pistol and a hatchet. She's sleeping on her side. I've never seen that before. One of the shittiest things they do is I went on Pete's stream. His channel is called Creepy Little Book. He talks about the paranormal and the supernatural and the fringe. Okay. He's a good friend and a really great guy. So I go on one of his vids and I say it's my 36th birthday. This is Daniel talking. Last year, he wished me a happy birthday. The moderator wishes me a happy birthday along with What's wrong, monkey? Can't go into the confusion and drop food? So Pete, his moderator, and 70 others wish me a happy birthday. So everyone's super nice, saying hi, wish me a happy birthday. She doesn't even say hello. Total cold fish. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Exactly. You control the parameters with this.
April 4. Anyways, after okay. <laughs> they always say happy birthday. Someone says, hey Dan, happy birthday. And he tells me that his birthday is on April 4th. So I say happy birthday for April 4th. Probably. And she told she's like, oh, she probably jumps right on and says, happy birthday, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> that sound is my, uh, that's my email notification. I literally just sit here and play guitar and kind of watch it play out. Yeah, this stranger, a happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah, or you could just be like me and just never wish anybody a happy birthday ever, right? <laughs> I just, it's just not something I do, right? If you get a, if I said happy birthday to you, you're lucky. <laughs> You must have caught me on a weekday. <laughs> I was tired or something. If you ever got a happy birthday out of me. <laughs> this is the favorite thing about this fucking playthrough is this giraffe skeleton I got here. This is our mascot. <laughs> All right, this is looking pretty dope. I love this strip farming thing I got going here with all these different kinds of, different kind of grub. Oh, shh. What you cooking? He's got a pump shotgun. Oh yeah, a pump shotgun, a light machine gun, and a bolt action rifle. Grub successfully tamed the hedgehog. Boom, yeah, Daniel. Daniel, do you want to name the hedgehog? We got a we got a hedgehog named Hedgehog Number One. It needs a name. When I can name it, or there we go. There's its name. Star Fox the Hedgehog. Fuck yeah! All right, let's do it. Nice. <laughs> awesome. My mom can't stand Raquel. Oh, we're go we've gone with Star Fox. That's fuck. Andrew. We'll see what else. we'll see if we can tame this rabbit. We'll name the rabbit Andros. <laughs> I hope you got some I got hope you got good vibes out of taming that hedgehog there, grub, you grumpy fuck. I've got a monkey named Booby. That's awesome. A hedgehog named Star. <laughs> I 
There's another hedgehog. Oh, he's taming the rabbit. He's on it. Is he going to succeed? Riveting stuff. I think I posted this on the Discord, but the new the new awesome info on oh yeah yeah. I'm excited for dead tame failed. 12% chance. Oh the rabbits are fucking what do you call it? Just trying hard to get. Oh, hold on. Is which one's which one's which? Is the other one female? Hold on. Animals. This, this is Star Fox. Where's Star Fox? Is Star Fox? Oh, Star Fox is a male. Okay. Hedgehog number one. Excellent. Too bad they're both male, though. If we find a fucking female um, hedgehog, we're naming it Andromeda. <laughs> or maybe that's what the rabbit's name's going to be. Yeah, it's a female rabbit, so that'll work. Rewrites established. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I seen that. Oh, that looked ex that looked exciting. We'll introduce a groundbreaking multiverse concept with unique heroes crucial for each universe's survival. Cool. That sounds neat. Yeah, I was like seen that in the th in the what do you call it the title there. I was like, oh, that sounds really fucking interesting, and I wanted to watch it rather than listen to it. So I was like, yeah, yeah. A lot of the stuff at work, you like, I can't watch it at work. I can listen to it. <gasps> Nexus beings in the fur in the film play a significant role, maintaining stability and influencing probability and time flow within the multiverse. Interesting. Is Deadpool the unique hero for our universe? The removal or demise of this hero, known as a Nexus being in the comics, results in the collapse of their respective universe. This, ensure, this concept ensures that characters like Spider-Man and Hulk won't have duplicates with the same pivotal role across different universe. Interesting. Okay, so somebody's actually put some fucking really good thought into this. <clears throat> hmm. 
This concept ensures that characters like Spider-Man and the Hulk won't have duplicates with the same pivotal role across different universes. I'm on board with this. This is a really good idea. That's a really, really good idea. That's from the comics. That's not new to the, that's not new for the movies. You said that in the, in the comics, right? In the comics. Yeah. A nexus being in the comics. How long has this been a thing? So that means Thomas Jane Punisher is the protector of his universe. And if he were to die, then his universe would be, would collapse. So, but there can be more, there can. So you're saying that Spider-Man is a Nexus being, right? Is that, is that what we're saying? Grub, what's going on? Mate. 17 days, minor pain, insulted, slightly impressive dining room. Nice. Ate a fine meal. Spacious interior, extremely comfortable, very low expectations. He's in catharsis, expires in 14 hours. And uh, 20, 30, hey, we're still gonna be plus five. <clears throat> or like Wesley Snipes Blade. He's like the Nexus being and protector of his respective universe. And if the vampires are successful in killing Blade, the sky would open up and the universe would collapse. So is there a, oh man, okay, hold on. Like this is, this is really, this is really leaning into the concept of infinity. Um, It's like, I'm like formulating, it's like the gears turning, gears turning, I'm like. So every run of comics is its own universe. Is that the, the that the short of it? It's the that they they're making the entire franchise um, a multiverse anthology, whereas every run of comics and every story is in its own universe, right? The same goes for Ben Affleck Daredevil, which would make sense that Elektra would be in the void at the end of time. What if Ben Affleck Daredevil died somehow and the universe was collapsing? I'm trying to, I'm gonna have to read, I'm gonna watch that thing. But yeah, I think, I think what this boils down to, and the TVA saved Elektra. I think what this boils down to, the fundamental, 
the fundamental crux, the linchpin of like what this is implying is that every story is just one of the possible stories in any random infinite thread of the multiverse. So they don't need to worry about continuity. They don't need to worry about um, canon. Uh, they don't need to worry about anything. And it's going to really open up. Uh, it's going to really open up their ability to tell stories. And um, Star Trek's um, the first person that I heard um, talk about this concept was uh, I like how they're baking it into the make they're, they're baking it into the lore which is really cool so, which is what makes this unique as compared to what needs to happen with Star Trek or what like P.D. York was like all they need to do to fix Star Trek is to make it a multiverse anthology and every series just exists in its in one of the threads and that just clears up all of the canon issues it's a multiverse anthology show right and i think that's what they're i think that's what the point of this marvel thing is except they're baking it into the lore with a story mechanic which is really cool in itself that that, that yeah, somebody's somebody has put a lot of thought into this. This is this is uh, yeah. I, I'm really intrigued. I, I want. I I need to know. I need to know more. But that's that's based on what you've told me, anyways. That's that's what I get out of it. Would you like to know more? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I would. And I will definitely look up more because that's really intriguing. And uh, I like it when something makes my brain like just like. I'm like, no, no, what's the, what's the, what's, what's, what, why, what's the, what's the root of this? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. I, I really like that. It really, that really made me, that really, whether, whether I came to the wrong conclusion, I like the fact that that really made my fucking gears turn. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to, that will really, that will really open up storytelling and make the fan base just fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> Right, but they've got to they've got to sell it to them though as a story as a as a story mechanic that's a law in the lore, right? That's has stories in it inside of it in itself, right? And have that be the implication across the universe. That's really cool. If that's what if if my pers thought of what's going on is correct. And I'm going to read more about it because that's, that's cool. And if, <laughs> if that's not what they're doing, I should fucking send somebody an email and be like, yo, you need to do, you need to, you need to use this to do this. <laughs> so Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is the nexus being of his universe. And if he dies, the universe is screwed. It sucks the people in that universe. Imagine Yeah. Yeah. Toby Spider, yeah, the Toby Maguire run of Spider Man. He's the Nexus being. He, he's the title. The title character of any story is the Nexus being, and it lives in its own universe. So shut your hole about the lore, and you can just enjoy the story that we're trying to tell you. For fuck's sakes, this is essentially what's <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> You pedantic fucks. Jesus, give it a rest. <laughs> uh, whoever came up with that, fucking <laughs> good job. Bake it into the story. Yeah, cool.
nothing anyone can do except run and just wait for the universe to collapse. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't even say it. Spoilers. I was going to fucking say a spoiler to the three body problem. <laughs> do you have Netflix, Daniel? If you have Netflix, you should watch the three body problem on Netflix. It's fucking, I watched the, I, I'm three episodes in and so far it's really good. I've read the books and uh, yeah, you should check it out. It's fucking, it's cool. <laughs> they're, they're nailing it. They're just hanging out of the park so far. this tomatoes cooking a fine meal hell yeah brother what did you put on the thing oh bass You go fish some more? What are you doing? Oh, he's grabbing the fish that this guy caught. Sweet. Just imagine living with uh, Thomas Jane Punisher universe and he's the only hero of that earth. What if Thanos or Galactus invades? Well, the other, the other, the other superheroes can be there too, but they're not the Nexus being. The title character is. <laughs> right? Ah, wink, wink. Ah. Damn, I drink too many of these again. They're too expensive. They're obviously considerably addictive for some reason. Well, the other heroes aren't really in their universes anyways, are they? No, right? And that is because of rights issues. So, oh, that's a weird way to put it. Huh. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because, like, in the Blade universe, he's, he's the only one, right? So, yeah, if Thanos attacked that universe or something, they're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <you. laughs> 
you know, or the Punisher. Yeah, because uh, the other heroes aren't in the Punisher, right? Maybe they are. I don't know. I don't. I never read. I didn't really. I didn't read the comics. I'm kind, I'm like aware of like a lot of the storylines, and like I'm not like ignorant to it, but I didn't actually read them. <clears throat> Uh oh, Grub. He doesn't have his catharsis thing anymore. So, eighteen, twenty-three. Oh, soaking wet. Oh yeah. Well, they're all wet. That's funny. Whatever. He's probably gonna throw a temper tantrum or going on a drinking bender or something. Hopefully, he doesn't burn the house down. Okay, let's. Let's do it then. Oh, that's work? No, 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 no. Anything. Now, they they got a little work at seven. Whoops. Whoops, your daisies. Go to work at seven. Till noon. Because <clears throat> of rights issues. Yeah. Well. It's a little meta. <laughs> that is the reason. But uh, it's kind of... I would like to think of it more of a... As a as in-universe, it's just as more of a... I'm an, an anomaly in the multiverse, right? Like, for example, the Ang Lee Hulk universe, when it was made in 2003, and Eric Bana was the Bruce Banner, and Hulk of that universe, back in the day universal had the rights so he was the only hero of that universe exactly we're on the same page yeah right yeah every every storyline is its own fucking thread in the multiverse which is yeah that's that's sick that's a good idea so so it's a it's an anomaly um the meta explanation is rights issue but in universe it's an anomaly that's i wonder if they'll come up with a in universe explanation for the anomaly too as to what why there's no um other heroes in this particular thread or maybe now, maybe now, oh, dude, okay, get this, now, here's something they have the freedom to do, they can make any hero like that, and be like, no, no, only Spider-Man in this universe, why, because it's an infinite universe, and in this one, it's like the it's like the Blade universe, except with Spider Man. There's only Spider Man here, and it's an in and it's an in universe explanation for that. And they can tell that story, and they don't have to be like it can be like the old comics now, right? Where it's like Spider Man movie, right? He's just in our world. There's no other heroes. Fucking Spider Man, awesome, or whatever. And you don't always have to have, well, where's this character? Well, why did all this take place in New York? Or where, where's Spider-Man? It's like, oh, you know. Spider-Man should be here. This takes place in blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like, oh, shut up. You know, and it's an explanation for that.
Oi. All right. He could still be the only hero of that universe. So if Thanos does invade the Earth, that would have a better chance of be yeah, because the air. Oh yeah, the Eric Bana Hulk is stronger than the MCs MCU Hulk. Yeah, it makes. I think I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really good because we're gonna get standalone movies again with one hero, because of this. That's the other, that's the other huge implication. Because now you can have a... Yeah, you have an in-universe explanation for why you, you can have, now you can have a Superman fucking movie and not have to worry about the fucking Justice League. Right. It's not an anomaly at all. It's an infinite universe, you know. Inspired creativity. Bailey. Thanks to a high mood, Bailey has experienced an inspiration. The next item, art or furniture she creates, will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be. Oh, fuck. Okay. I should make her unfinished marble sculpture. Hmm. I hate that my finger was just like doink and just made it disappear. That fucking sucked. I was trying to read it and my finger was just like, click. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the meta, you, the meta real world reason is. Now we can have a fucking reimagined fucking Hulk movie without having to worry, with a, worry about a bunch of extra bullshit. Let's just tell a story about the Hulk. You know? Oh, Andros. Fucking grubs eating all the getting the fine meals. That's fine. That means the universe for Eric Banahal could be more expansive because there are Guardians of the Galaxy now and Eternals and Celestials, Nova and all the aliens the MCU has because the rights are all with Marvel Disney MCU. <laughs> yeah. They can do whatever they want now. Like, whatever. Oh, there he goes. He's going on his tantrum. Where is he? As long as he doesn't fucking kill anybody. He's got that fucking machine gun. It's a good place to be in it. Oh. Yeah, Spider-Man's owned by Sony. And they, yeah, Spider-Man's owned by Sony. Don't you fuck up, bro. Stay the fuck up. You touched the generator. Okay. Then he'll have his catharsis. Just as long as he doesn't fucking hurt anybody. He hasn't hit anybody yet. Sometimes they fight with people and fucking Red's fixing it there. Yeah, Sony owns Spider-Man and they are just lending him to Marvel. They lease. It's a lease. 
It's a for cross marketing in their fucking movie. <laughs> Basically. She's fixing it while he's fucking breaking it. That's funny. Oh, that means this fucking shit's full. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Um... You have catharsis again now? He does. Nice. 15 days. Oh, that'll be nice when he gets over his, the death of his sister. Stockpile in the ruins. I went to an abandoned castle and it fucking sucked. And then I went to another abandoned castle and it fucking sucked too. You know what? We're going to do a thing. We're going to do a thing. We can do a thing. We're going to build a coffee. No, we're just going to destroy. We can build another one. Renovation. See, Muck, you can see what I'm doing here, I'm sure. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious, I'd imagine. 
Where's the rupee thing? Yeah. Daniel's Hot Topics says, I wonder when Doctor Strange 3 will start filming. They just finished Deadpool 3, so they probably will start filming Doctor Strange 3 around the summer or June, July. You've heard talk, or summer 2025. You've heard talk of Doctor Strange 3? I have not. That would be cool. I like Doctor Strange. Clea, played by Charlize Theron, told Doctor Strange that he created a bunch of incursions and they have to stop them. At the time, I thought it was our Doctor Strange, but she could have meant in a multiverse. A multiversal variant of Doctor Strange created a bunch of incursions and they have to stop them somehow. Yeah. AU started some incursion. Medical bed. Oh, we got a rabbit now? Hair number one, female, Andromeda. There we go, sick. What else we got? We need self-sufficient animals, like a raccoon. We need the female hedgehog. Then we can have baby hedgehogs. Wouldn't that be fucking sweet? We don't want donkeys, because then they'll fucking think they're all of a sudden think they're dependent on us. Well, they will be because they'll be in a fence, but um. Then they'll be like, oh, I'm starving to death and shit. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. 
these animals are awesome because they can just wander into the freezer and just eat whatever they want. And it doesn't matter if they can eat the fish. Who gives a shit? It's fine. Eat the berries. Who cares? Whatever you want. There's food for everybody. Daniel says, you remember all the articles they were putting out when Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was filming? They were saying Nicolas Cage, Ghost Rider was going to appear, Eric Bat. Yeah, they were Yeah, they were they were saying some wild shit. I'm fucking stoked about how much fucking variety of food I have now. This is gonna be even better because I haven't harvested the this any of this strip pop yet. This is just last year's variety. This is just gonna up the game so well. I'm gonna make some crazy meals with this. And it'll keep the people happy. Um I was like I'm going to do something. I'm going to renovate. Kind of steep. What is this? Granite. Oh, well, may as well make it square. And Dramata is drawn to the kitchen, apparently. Um, we'll make Andromeda a little bed. Right there. Epic. Three components, A. Eh? Okay. Dare Ben Affleck was going to appear as Daredevil, and none of it happened. Yeah, that'd be dope. Looking for components. What's that? The links. Nice. Hopefully that goes deeper because, man, it's looking pretty grim. Yeah. Hopefully that goes deeper, that vein of compacted machinery. That doesn't mean there's not compacted machinery in these mountains. I just need to dig it out. It's buried under the surface and you can't see it. Maybe it could happen in Dr. Strange. They'll, they'll do something. They'll do something for sure. They'll 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 probably try to sell us real hard on on something. Wouldn't it be cool if there was just like a a solo Doctor Strange movie without anybody else? Wouldn't that be cool though? I would like to see that. I think that would be great. Achievement unlocked. It's all downhill from here. Survive a year. Oh, okay, the 7th of April, May. I thought I, okay, I started on the 7th, apparently. I got it set on, I got it set on blood and dust. I'm doing pretty good. I shouldn't fucking talk because then I'll get fucking something happen. 
But yeah, no, these four guys came in and they were fucking no shit. And they fucking like almost killed all of my guys. They had like pump shotgun, lever action, right? We had a hell of a battle. It was crazy. I want to put another recreation. What's a faro table? I want to put a no. chess table. What is a faro table? Soft top bound table for playing fair. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay. It's, 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 it's for playing pharaoh. Okay, it's like a little description of what it is, no? Ah, will that make you think you have an impressive bedroom? Two fucking, two fucking lounge chairs and a faro table? Can you explain the, oh, hello. Can you explain the game Pharaoh to me? It's spelled F-A-R-O. Sure. Pharaoh is a card game that was really popular in the 19th and early 20th centuries. It's played with a standard deck of cards and involves betting on the outcome of cards being dealt from the top of the deck. Players bet on whether the next card dealt will be higher or lower than the previous one. It's a simple but fast-paced game that was once played in many casinos and gambling houses. Thank you. Interesting. Oh, this is Andromeda's bed. I should, I should stop chopping down trees right beside the house.
I'm severely inclined to not do this one. It's in the desert. How long does it take to get there? One day. Yeah, that's tempting. But man, if I open up a, a can of mechanoids, Orla Greg, cheers. Is this the sweet potato? Oh, here's the here's the hops. Nice. Okay, I should make sure that Daniel's on top says, Hi, Oily Greg. Good morning. Um, oh, I'm stoked about this crop. Look at that. Just a thing of beauty. Just a thing of beauty. Got mint. Oh. Decadent grapes, canola, cabbage. Oily Greg says hi, Daniel. Okay. Or look, Greg, have you seen the new pets, the new addition to the colony? We've got a rabbit named Andromeda, uh, a hedgehog named Star Fox, and another one named Andros. And of course, we, we've got Booby, the OG animal. We've still got bulk goods trader from the Western Republic. I don't really need anything. Maybe they got a sick gun or something. I don't know. We'll see. Grubs doing okay he's in catharsis mode oh going downhill sister nag died expires in 14 days come on get over it buddy <laughs> the colonies fucking needs you to be on point this fucking blows what star fox got shot by grub what are you talking about cannot hit target Grub, are you all right? Or Star Fox? Health? Okay. What do you mean shot by Grub? Oh, the Greg says hi, Daniel, and sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. We've got a we've got a female hedgehog up here somewhere. That's another male hedgehog. There's a female hedgehog kicking around in. Hopefully, we can make baby hedgehogs. A wild goose, eh? Oh, yeah. What's this? Oh, that's the egg. Ah, oh, epic. Okay, I remember. Research. Um, biofuel refining, all oh, this, working on this forever. Yeah, that's super important. We needed to get that done. Okay. Battery, 400. Next one will be beer brewing, and then we're going to take battery. All right, <clears throat> so we can, yeah, yeah. Make use of the hops we brew. All right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, grub, sir. Sir Grubbage. Trade with Polinius? Ple Plinius? Would you like to buy a rubber nipple? Interesting. No, I don't want to sell them. You don't want to sell any. It was like, I could make good money selling this stuff. Hmm. Like 200 pumpkin. Do I need 200 pumpkin? We could sell 50 pumpkin. I'm gonna buy some soybeans. How many soybeans do we have? I'll buy 50 soybean. I suppose I could just type it in. Oh, that's tomatoes. Oh, I got fucking a stupid amount of soybeans. That's 200. Four hundred silver. All right, accept.
He's <laughs> still wearing that same toque. All right, well, it's on the list. We'll get there, guy. We'll get there, guy. We'll get there, guy. You'll have a bunch of hats to choose from in no time. Well, in a bunch of time. How are you doing, Grub? How's that sister thing doing? Still 14 days, eh? Minus eight, greedy for impressive bedroom. Does it get better if I put a wall here or not? Hmm, I don't know. So I put, I put this, I opened this up so maybe he'd consider this whole thing his bedroom. And he'd be like, oh, look at an awesome bedroom I have. But I don't think that's the case. Doesn't matter that it's better than the other ones. It's not impressive yet. Impressiveness three. Oh, this is yeah, this is the hospital. Okay. Alright. So maybe this would get better if I put a let's try it. We're gonna put a piece of granite. Oh a piece of marble. We'll put a marble block right there. <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't fucking counting as, because this is Red's bedroom. This is the hospital. This is Zach and Bailey's bedroom. This isn't counting as, so if I put a fucking, yeah. The hospital, eh? Hmm. Renovate, renovate. Build copy is circle. Oop. We're going to put it right there. But I don't have enough wood. There's this wood, though. Go get it. It is five in the morning. They just haven't quite got there yet, so we'll wait and grab that wood. They haven't even had time to pick this rice up. Or what is it? Chickpeas. We don't have a Kraken yet. Um, for some reason, we're really... Oh, well, I know why we're really behind on research is because I've got these huge gardens. So that's that's really why. But I think it's going to be... Yeah, I don't know. We're going to pick up our research speed really quick because, uh, let's see, hold on. Can I take Bailey off growing? She's got a six and she's got a passion for it, though. Grub is an eight. We'll take her off it. We'll take her off mining. Research and writing. Because I need to, because research is going slow. It's really slow. Bailey. Bio, 
intellectual three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I put her on it because she's got a passion of two fires. So she's fucking super duper slow anyways. So, okay. I understand what's happening now. Okay. Yeah. She can't spare the time to help with growing. That's just the end of that. Sorry about your passion for growing food. You have a passion for this and we're going to cultivate it. It's only three, so she's super slow anyways. I have people that could do better, faster research. Actually, I should build another research table because I have, um, who else can do research? Three and three. Uh, nobody's any better. Hmm. I'm going to build another research table in here just in case I can double up on it sometimes. Huh. Furniture, dining chair, wood. Boop. And then, and then, yeah, and then. Who would I rather have doing the research? Red. Three priority. That can be a level three priority. Um. Stroll out for a while. We lease the Kraken. We can't afford a Kraken. We can't afford a Kraken gap. The enemy surely has a Kraken. Oh, bro. Rest assured, the enemy most certainly has a Kraken. Remember my warning when we were all Kraken chow? Exactly. Because you've seen the world, right? This is the world. Where's the Kraken nest? Um, what's... Uh, where's a fucking insectoid hive? There's mechanoids. Temp what's this? Grenada Brigand. There's the cowboys. Oh, there's insectoid fucking. What is this? Township at the creek. <clears throat> Maybe I just can't. Oh, there's, there's something there. What's that? An infestation poison hive. Yeah, ugly. Um, yeah, no, no, there's mechanoids. I know there's, there's, there's mechanoids living in the, what you want to call it in, oh, I can't remember which one it was. Uh oh, um, quests, ancient danger. I don't know. In, in one of these mountains, there's a cavern of like mechanoids or something. that will destroy me if I wake them up.
Alien what? Alien Romulus. Well, I think it's inside this mountain. There's probably some fucking insectoid mechanoids. They're like, uh, they're like the big insect creatures on Starship Troopers, except they're made out of metal. <laughs> and they're robots. They're bad news. I can't believe Booby's still kicking. Usually my animals get eaten by the fucking other animals. The pride and joy is still this fucking mad giraffe skeleton here. We ate the other one, but this one was rotten with the stink. So we just had to let, we just had to keep this, keep settle for just keeping the, I don't know what they did with the bones of the other one, but I don't know, we butchered it and ate it. Yeah, giraffe, it was delicious. Yeah, yeah. I woke them up once by accident. I fucking was like, oh, interesting. Um, I started digging around the, and I found these doors and I like, I went and got my best guys. And they had like a shotgun and a fucking pistol. Um, I doubt it. This is what happened. So I, uh, so I, I marched my two best guys in there with my two best guns. It was like a shotgun and a, and a pistol and uh, a revolver, I think. And we walked in there and there was just shiny, polished, like marble floors. There was like steel panel. All, like it was, it was nice. It was like shiny, like fucking high tech. There was like big flat screen TVs on the wall and shit. And then there was these two like insectoid things that were asleep. And all of a sudden they were like, hello, they woke up. And my guys were like, I was like, oh shit. And I turned to run and they got about 20 feet and the insectoid fucking robot things fucking were like, yeah, do, 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 do. and they fucking destroyed my guys. And then they fucking beeline straight from my fucking house. And they fucking within a minute, they'd killed every one of my colonists. And that was the end of that. Yeah, and they were straight up like the insect. What they were like the fucking, in the bugs on Starship Troopers, except they were made out of fucking metal. <laughs> so, I got the fear when it comes to <laughs> digging around in mine, digging too deep in these mountains, because you never know what you might find. Well, that's the thing. If I find doors, don't go through them. Or I don't know. Maybe I fucking... Hey, Simon. Maybe I fluked out by... See, getting that on my first uh, incursion into one of those chambers, but... I don't know. You go through them. Go through the doors and just find some cool stuff, maybe. Or maybe not.
I think we have, I think we have two. Or the red. I'm I'm on board with that. Have you read uh have you read Fingerprints of the Gods by uh Graham Hancock? <laughs> Have you, have you have you read Graham Hancock's Fingerprints of the Gods and uh, Magicians of the Gods? Because if you have not, and you are into this stuff, you absolutely should. Because holy fuck! He spends a really compelling story. No, you haven't, bro. Um, are you signed up for Audible? Because if you're not. You can just sign up for Audible and get a free book and then just cancel it and be able to keep the good book forever. But you should read Fingerprints of the Gods. It's crazy. It's fucking wild. But you can sign up for Audible and get a free book and then cancel and you can keep the book forever. Or you have Audible. Yeah, the... Uh, the audiobooks are great. They're read by Graham Hancock. It's got the new pro there's a there's an issue with the first book that he addresses in the preface and uh yeah, it's good. It's really good. I big recommend. Cuz if you're into that shit, he, the dude, the way he he ties it all together, man. It's crazy. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Like, the procession of the equinox, like, it... <laughs> snapshot in the sky, the procession of the equinox, the fucking, the sphinx with the lion head facing the fucking constellation Leo, when you take into account the, uh, procession of the equinox is like a snapshot in the sky yeah that sounds crazy right it's, yeah it's like a it's like a moment in time they're like 12,000 years ago when the asteroid hit the fucking ice cores in antarctica that go down where they find the layer of that fucking nuclear fucking dust or whatever it is at 12,000 years ago where they can tell when the asteroid hit, <laughs> you know, all that stuff that ties together into this fucking just wildly compelling narrative. It's really good. I recommend it. If you poo poo on fucking, if you poo poo on Graham Hancock, I'll tell you, read the book, just read it. <laughs> examine the, I've examined the mysteries for decades yeah yeah examine the placement of the moon it has no business being <laughs> the moon rang like a bell for like 20 minutes when the fucking lander hit it or something I can't remember Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Like, it rang like a bell when the fucking lander hit it. It's like, that's a legitimate thing that they acknowledge. Yeah, it seems to be the case, yes. 
You've heard of the intergalactic, not the intergalactic, the interplanetary corporate conglomerate. Ooh, whoops. What was the day? The interplan interplanetary corporate conglomerate. That's a fun story. I like that one. It rang like a bell twice. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing that they acknowledge. It's whoops a daisy we'll turn that off so i don't get that sound of my foot hitting the wire again i was like oh startled me ah 10 25 69% grown That's all impossible. You're crazy. It's impossible. Impossible. Well, it's nice to people see people having time to clean up and stuff, right? What are you guys talking about? We're talking about ancient aliens. <laughs> Not necessary ancient aliens, but um, alternative uh, history theories and like the ancient... Not necessarily Atlantis, but like civilizations that were here before us. <laughs> Different cycles of the planet that have been going on for longer than we think. Where there's been life before us and then it's died off and then started again. Various times. I must admit, says Simon, if the government says that aliens are real, I'm not going to be so sure. Oi. Why you guys put all this marble in here? They can find a few green guys, but can't find me a goddamn housing plan. <laughs> you can keep your damn alien bastards. I want a driver's license. <laughs> Arthur Greg says, I want a flying car and a hot robot girlfriend. <laughs> one, of your, one of your fucking requests is way more reasonable.
<clears throat> Same. Yeah. Yeah. You feeding Booble a fucking nice. What he fed them. Where's my goddamn electric car government? Beer helps. One sec. I think you guys are going to love this video. Okay. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I gotta find something. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of this. Um, <clears throat> search. Okay. Dillard. Dillard draws. Yeah, here we go. This is this is some good stuff right here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Oiler Greg, check this out. This is Oscar fucking stuff. Brilliant stuff. Why, <laughs> pure wife? Ah! Why gone? <laughs> Took a <my> wife. <laughs> Regret. <laughs> Rains a lot here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You see that polished marble floor? Eh? Eh? That's going to be the hospital. Granite walls and polished marble floor. We'll see if we can smooth the surface of the granite wall too. And see how long it takes to make this marble polished stone floor. I'm mean, something I've never done before. I have to get ready to romp around Houston with my girlfriend, Kathy. I'll have fun. Yeah, take it easy, man. Cheers. Reliant entering the sector and slowing. No response. No response to hails. <laughs> Regulation, Bob. I don't know. When you suggest we should raise the shields. <laughs> Savick was right. <laughs> Pumper sticker for the Enterprise B. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I was like, who said it? I heard it in my head as fucking Sulu, but then I was like, nah, he was the captain of the fucking Excelsior. He wasn't there. I was like, I heard it in Sulu's voice for some reason, but then I was like, who was it? Yeah. Savick. It's Christy Alley. Red, what's up with you? Soaking wet has not left the colony. Low expectations. Yeah, this fucking rain is just crazy. Humor. A difficult concept. <laughs> yeah, she was great. The other girl was good too, but it would have been, I don't know. It's nice we got, I don't know. 
It was a jarring change. Was that Kim? Kim Was that Kim Cattrall? I can't remember. Staggeringly different. Like, no attempt made was, no attempt was made to fill the fucking, to uh, copy the archetype at all. Who's holding up the turbo left? <laughs> I love, yeah, that was, that was, I watched that movie so many times. Mick, oi. Oi, oh. Visitors from the Eagle Clan are leaving. Yeah, that's fine. We need just to chop a little wood, chop a little wood, chop a little wood. Yeah, like. It was. Um, if she, if she, Kim Cattrall would have been the fucking if Kim Cattrall would have been Savick from the start, no problem, absolutely fine with casting her in that character. She did a great job, but man, you really think they could have found somebody to make it less jarring, right? That was rough. <laughs> or the Greg says, "Okay, I better get ready and actually make a drink, rum and coke today." It's like, God damn, I gotta go out. Oh, let me get ready. I'm gonna make a drink. <laughs> you gotta cover the basics first. <sighs> yeah. Or the Greg says exactly. Cause yeah, that was jarring as fuck. And there was that was one of the worst fucking switch ups I've ever seen. <laughs> like they're always somewhat jarring, but that was like whoa, like Just make it a different character. Like, Jesus. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Be like, yeah, Savick's not here for some... Insert some fucking reason. Like, whatever. Don't he... Don't, they didn't even need to address it. Just... I don't know. Was... I can't... Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Yeah... She was totally there. Those those movies run straight right together, yeah. Like episodes of a TV show. So, yeah, they can't they had to replace her, yeah. Oh, I see. He's working on the first fucking floor tile. Oh, it's Red doing it. Oh, yeah. It's coming right along. What's your, uh... I'm a human that's Red. Come on. Instruction is three, huh? 
Mm. That's cooking. That's good. Good practice for her. Level up a little bit. In construction. Is humming my old right along, considering it's a high tech uh, operation, low skill, doing pretty good. That's another one coming up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not bad. We're only having three in construction, laying polished marble floor tiles. Like one every, I don't know, minute. It's pretty good. Yeah, cheers, mate. I appreciate you. Oh, I hear the monkey. That's a happy monkey. Mm. Oh, that looks fucking awesome. Cool. We should put a second door here. That means we're going to have to put marble flooring there as well. That looks cool. That looks cool. I like it.
Epic. Oh, is, is this is this the art piece? Mar oh, it's it's interesting. Cool. Um, install it and uh, butthead's fucking bedroom. The selfish, the selfish guy. For some reason. His bed's for prisoners now. There we go. <clears throat> no, no, no. Cancel. Um, shit. You had it? Oh, there it is. Install here. Put torch. Oops. A torch right there. Awesome.
tweak a tweak to all all tweak. All right, Zach, schoolyard outcast. Zach had a modest, but hey, another good to see you later, Dusk. Zach had a modest but proper upbringing. Despite a good family background and plenty of support, he struggled to make friends and was often bullied. He learned to work or play alone and avoided socializing to avoid conflict. Zach spent countless hours behind the scenes of a famous theater. He built scenery, programmed lights, and monitored the machines that moved the sets. Off duty, he would talk with the cast members, navigating the social drama of the actors, helped him learn how to communicate well and manipulate others. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Depressive. Is perennially unhappy. He has trouble sustaining a good mood, even when everything is fine. No amount of loving is enough loving for Zach. He will tend to jump from partner to partner and tumble between sheets with them frequently. For some reason, I thought we were talking about Grub, but no, Zach, he's doing great. Oh, weird. Yeah, every time I looked at him, he was like just wicked. But anyways, okay. Our moods are all down. Okay. Grub. Yeah. Poor Grub. What's he doing? He's sleeping out here. What's he doing? Go to bed. Fucking idiot. He'll be like, I slept in the cold. Complain. It's like, fuck you. Oh, I see what's going on. For some reason, this they think this is a prisoner bed. Oh, because this is an oh, okay, grub. Fix this. I see what's going on. There we go.
Cargo pods, weapons. Jokes location, good weapons. Guinea pig fur, round shield. Oh, interesting. And uh, a walnut hammer, eh? Hmm. Well, we'll go grab it, I guess. Steel slag. I made a movie review if you're interested. I am um, far too lazy to make much content. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. What's this? Chickpea plant. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kick ass. That's kick ass. That's pretty fucking good. Bill complete. Make cowboy hat. Sweet. There's a cowboy hat. Hopefully somebody puts it on. Zach! Go put the cowboy hat on. Zach better be going to put the cowboy hat on. Look at him go. Come on, man, put the cowboy hat on. Put the cowboy hat on, Zach. Epic. Hey, let's just take a look at this. What is this? Oats. Tomatoes. Corn. Celery. Carrots. Cabbages. Canola. Grapes. Coffee. Pumpkins. Peppers. Lots of peppers for some reason. Maybe we'll probably try to sell those to somebody. Tobacco. We'll try to sell that. Strawberry. Sugar cane. And mint. A little patch of mint. We got hops growing here. 86% growing. Research is still fuck all. Mm. We're going to get Bailey on research, like, full time. Yeah, straight up. And Brad is on research as well. Good stuff. 
but not full time. Bailey suggests doing a little binge party. Be warned, binge parties can last up to a few hours. Colonists will binge on food and drugs until it is over. Simply draft your colonists to stop them taking part in the binge party. Yeah, let's do a binge party. Rescue of Saul. Oh, it's a plus two, though. I don't know. Saul, he joins, though. He's wounded and unable to move. Sully is a 46-year-old forced primitivist. He promised to join you if you rescue him. Five man-hunting lemurs are wandering nearby. Is possibly an unknown threat. Wait seven days, eh? And leave him out there to die? Fuck. It's a plus two. It's a fucking two star mission, though. I don't know. Let's go get them. We're taking everybody. Fuck it. Let's do it. We're on hard. Let's fucking. Balls to the fucking wall. Let's put on a show. All right. Oof. Let's do it. <clears throat> I was like, we got a lot of food. We got so many supplies. I've never been more set up to go on a mission. I've never been on a fucking two-star mission. We're going on a fucking hot. Hot and heavy. We're going in hot. We're going in. I've got a fucking LMG. I've got a light machine gun. I've got a bolt action rifle. I've got a pump axe shotgun and a plasteel knife. And this Bailey bitch, she's a fucking monster. <laughs> these guys fucking, these bandits came and uh, they the guys were shooting at them and shooting at them and they missed. And they like these three bandits all crowded around Bailey and she killed all of them with that fucking knife. They shot her full of holes, but she fucking stabbed them all to death. I looked over there and they were all dead. I was like, whoa. I'm surprised she's only level six. But anyways, let's fucking do it. Let's just fucking do it. Okay, the rescue of Sully. Let's jump to incapacitated. Okay, let's fucking do this. 0.7 days. Um, we're ten, we're sending everybody cause we're not fucking around. Okay. Hopefully somebody doesn't come and burn our house down while we're gone, but we're going to take that chance. Let's take more food then. I have like tons of food. Why can't I just uh, take more? Because I can't carry more. Yeah, yeah. 
We got like an extra 30%. We got an extra, like, 30%. Ish. My math not so good. <laughs> Think long time. Wow, I'm halfway there. Wow, I'm falling on the floor. Take my hand, I think I'm naked, I swear. Wow, falling on the floor. Falling on the floor. Wow. Or falling in the bath. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a review of Pork Chop Hill in honor of my father who won two bronze stars in the Korean War. Sick. Count <clears throat> on falling in a if I fall in a pit or something. Falling in a pit. Down in a hole. Medical bed. Still got, ooh, 132 marble blocks. Hey, what's the value of this room now? Somewhat impressive. Hey, we're getting there. Let's make another marble statue. Cause that one's cool. And we'll put it on the other side of the door. We'll have to move this one over a little bit. Let's do it right now. Oop. Well, now I'm actually drinking. <laughs> it's later. Mad wild, what? I can't. Oh, don't fuck with geese. Mound up. Oh, shit. Oh, it's fine. We're fucking getting the fuck out of here. Right? Where's this gander? Oh, they didn't get very far before they fell asleep. They're all sleeping in no bed rolls. What a bunch of dummies. They're like, we were tired. It's like... <clears throat> we got an extra early start. It's two in the morning. Oh, speed up time.
The Finity Saga reminds me of the Oxbow Incident movie Lynch Mob mentality. The Mob Rules heavy metal movie. I just can't believe everybody just lets shit like that slide. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's a road. I thought we were going to be going across the fucking shit there, but we're taking the road. Yeah, cool. Achievement unlocked. Are you not entertained? Have a 5% average mood in the colony. Oh, dear. Uh oh. <laughs> but I don't blame Pop or anyone. I just feel sad for the lost art. Yeah. Fuck. No, it's. This is on Jay. But it'd be nice if more people, like. I shouldn't throw people under the bus, but it'd be nice if people would, like, stand up. And be like, hey, Jay, that fucking sucked. I'm not going to let you on my show tonight. That was wrong. You need to fucking not, not provide them with a platform to fucking justify what they did like it was fine. Fuck that. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking, it's a tragedy. Fuck, that's... He's funny. Like... <laughs> Genuine, genuinely funny, witty fucking commentary. Sharp, articulate, lots of knowledge. Grub's caravan has arrived at the incapacitated refugee. Jump to location. Zoom in. Okay, um, where are you guys? There you are, okay. <clears throat> Okay, the lemurs, everybody, is fucking shit. Does it does us up? Get up here. Fuck, oh my goodness. These lemurs are going to fuck us up. Fucking destroy. Oh, maybe not. Light them up, grub. Light them up. Bailey, standing right there. Fucking kill him, Bailey. Oh, what are you doing, Red? That was weird. Did I tell you to do that? We got the lemurs fucking killed. Okay. Uh, we need a sleeping spot right here. Um, everybody can just, okay, hold on. Undraft. Uh, grub. Zach, offer help. Oh, interesting. Okay. Bailey, how you doing? Ooh, fucked up. Lemur fist. Shook some serious lemur damage. Okay, so we need this shit. Go get it. We need any berries? There's this food. That's fine. Okay. Um everybody was bong <laughs> bong hole lightning. <laughs> J 
just these ones. Keep these fucking rumors. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, bills out of bill. Butcher. Do it forever. Okay. Zach. Oh, what are you doing? He's going to. Uh... Oh, I got it. Cool. Red, can you build the fire? Can't work on campfire missing wood. Okay. Uh, orders, chop wood. Red, can you chop this wood, please? Thank you. More rum, lad. Back to being positive. That's right. We're chopping down trees. We're saving fucking Sully here. We're fucking smashing it, too. Shots of vanilla beam. Shot, 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 shot. Rub. Can you put that tree down, please? Thank you.
My scar disappeared last night, or my last shift. Dimensional shifting is exhausting. Yeah, my scar disappeared last shift. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. So you like work shift? No, no, no. You're not getting what I'm putting back here. <laughs> Mandela effect is real. Yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, the the CERN thing. I agree. We all do. Just depends on if you notice it or not. There's a picture in an old family Bible, and it's not there anymore. Nineteen degrees Celsius. Got some simple meals. Uh oh, caravan detected. About fifteen days before the mechanoids from Lightshill Mech Hive will begin arriving in the area. Reform your caravan to give it moving. Oh, and then the finger goes. It's like ding. Okay, so let's look at the world map. Do I see where they are? Muscle runs. Yeah, 15 days we've been noticed. Okay, all right. That's fine. We're doing good. We just got to get this guy up on his feet. And, uh,. Let's fucking shoot that turkey. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> nice. Keep it on the down low. <laughs>
Come on, Saul. How's your fucking health doing? Cracked femur, eh? <clears throat> Hard what? <laughs> yeah. But <Hot> dog. <laughs> We need to come back, it's just engulfed in flames. And I'm gonna cook all this meat and we'll have like 20 meals and then I think we're just gonna go whether this guy can walk or not hopefully we can take him hopefully we can just carry him it'll take us longer but if we run out of food we can just drop camp it's no problem rather than stay here we just need to get moving okay take it easy man it's always a pleasure you have a great day I appreciate the support. It's always fun to have our little chit chats. Should probably be hitting the, it's the 18th hour. Simon says, I watched a tutorial and I think I'm going to have to watch the thing over and over again. I got a good feeling about this. Nice. Awesome. Leveling up. Simon Dusk is officially leveling up. It's 
we've got 10 meals. Okay, that's not a lot. Uh, harvest these berries. I thought we'd have 20, but we all ate. You know what? We're gonna, okay. What's this? Oh, that's a lemur. Fuck yeah. We're gonna eat it. Oh, there's another lemur here too. Go get it. Zach. What's wrong with this one? Oh, it's rotting. That's too bad. Is this one rotting too? It is, okay. Let's shoot the red panda and the squirrel. All grubs in a daze? Oh no. Alright, we gotta wait till grub's not in a daze, I guess. He's like, let's just go. Hopefully we didn't just leave all that food on the ground. I bet we did. Uh oh. What's this guy doing? He's gonna burn my fucking house down. I wish I could wake them up and just force them to fucking go like I would be able to if they were here. <clears throat> this guy's gonna burn my house down. Watch this. We will rebuild it with stone. Maybe it'll, maybe we'll get a fucking snow, a uh, fucking rainstorm or something. Let's zoom in. Let's watch what he's doing. 57 year old female. Huh? <gasps> she killed my fucking hedgehog. Oh no. She's damaging this. That's okay. Which, which, who did she kill? Andros. Daniel. She killed Andros. Oh, she started a fire there. Yeah, yeah, you fucking attack that thing. Fuck yeah. What a brilliant stroke of luck that she's attacking this thing. 
she's got her heart set on destroying this. This is awesome. I can't believe it. It sucks she killed Andros, but... Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Just killing Star Fox. Star Fox is dead. No, Star Fox is incapacitated. She's gonna burn my fucking crops. That's fine. She, that's just the first one. That's the oats. Hopefully it doesn't transfer. Oh, uh, it might. Yeah, we'll see. Oh my god. They're like, why are you sniffing? It's like, I can't like be like, no rest. Oh shit. Oh shit, I can. No, I fucked up. At least I got a chance now. What? People can act and start resting in this house. No, no, no rest. Uh, greasy. This fucking blows. Come on, rainstorm. God oh, damn, this fucking sucks. I was like, remember when I was like, oh, as long as I don't get fucking invaded and they burn my house down. It's, yeah, this is totally what's happening. I'm losing this whole glorious crop. She's going to go through and burn everything. And my guys are like, oh, I can't fucking. The fact that I can't be like, mm, go. Like, I can everywhere else in the game. Just make them fucking do it. Like, I don't care if you're sleeping. Go, do it now. And they just will, right? You can't do that when you're here. And they're just, you're just gonna fucking sleep for like another fucking seven hours. It's like, fuck you. Go. This fucking blows. Where is she? Yeah, she's gonna go through and burn everything. This I... Shit, that fucking sucks. I was really worried that there was gonna be a fucking, I, those, yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, greasy. Yeah, enough crop. Caravan ambushed by the junkers. All right, so we're fucked. Yeah, so it's like I'm really like. Another reason why they they should have just like. So what about it? Oh fuck off. Fucking boat time, you fucking idiots got going. God damn it. No, I'm sleeping. Nah, we're we're gonna we're gonna restart. That fucking sucked ass.
well, just let me speed up time too. Like, I, like I'm ex- I've accepted what's gonna happen. Just let me fucking, just let me fucking speed up time so we can get there. I don't care how much damage it takes. Just don't fucking make me wait any longer. Like, just let me fucking get on with it. <laughs> like, oh no, do, 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 do. yeah, yeah. They're like, nah, this critical thing's happening and we're just not, we're gonna just make it crushingly fucking just obnoxious. This is like, it's like, I'm not even gonna look again until they get there. I'm gonna speed up time, everything. We're just gonna watch this. We're gonna get there and just see what we have to deal with. And then fucking probably restart. Cause I don't know, we'll see. There we go. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> it depends. Well, oh, my glorious fucking colony just got destroyed. Ah, now the rain starts. Is now that the fucking now that your house is burned down completely, it's gonna rain. Ah, wow, well, that was. Oh, we lost a fucking. Factory grub. Sorry. Who did we lose? I went on a rescue mission. I was like, I was just like, well, I'm taking a bit of a risk that somebody doesn't just come in and burn my house down. I'm like, it'll I'll, could be gone for two days. All right, I'll take a risk. I'll take a risk. I went on the mission. Boom, got raided. Fucking one single raider just came in and systematically burned everything. And then once everything was completely engulfed, then it started to rain. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna, that's at just three hours and 57 minutes. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna call it good. <laughs> um, yeah. But I learned that um, strive to survive is considered normal. And Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll fuck. I'm, no, I'm going to stick with this one because I did pretty good. It's just I fucking made a critical error not leaving one person here. If I would have left one person here, it would have been fine. But no, I took everybody because it was a level two mission and I wasn't sure how hard it was going to be. But there was a bunch of. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. I should have built my house out of fucking granite and marble, obviously. What do you think? Look at that. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, 
We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ.